Okay, for this video, we're going to learn how to calculate average product of labor and marginal product of labor. Okay, so if you're given a table like this, we're going to give these little symbols. We're going to say L is for labor. Total product would be our Q, okay, quantity. So what we're going to do is we're going to figure out our average product and our marginal product. We don't ever have one for zero product, so we'll just put little dashes in there. But our average product of labor is going to be the quantity produced divided by the amount of labor that we have. So we're going to take this Q value and divide it by the L. So we're going to take 10, divide it by 1. So our average product of labor for the first unit of labor is 10. Okay, so for the average product for this, when we have two units of labor, we're going to take the Q divided by the, the L, so we're going to take 30 divided by 2, okay, the quantity divided by the labor, so that one should be 15. So when we have two units of labor, on average, each one produces 15 units. So to find average product for the third unit of labor, when we have three units, we're going to take 36, the Q value, divided by the L, which is 3, and that should be 12. So when we have 12 units of labor, or excuse me, when we have three units of labor, our average product of labor is then going to be 12. Each one on average is producing 12 units. Now marginal product is a little bit different. What we're trying to figure out is what does the first unit add to my production? Then we want to figure out what does the second one add to production and then the third. So our, our formula here now is going to be the change, remember our delta means change, our change in quantity divided by our change in labor. Okay, so again we don't have one here. So we're going to say, okay, if we're moving from zero units of labor to one unit of labor, what is that first unit of labor going to add to my production? So we're going to take the change in total product, or the change in quantity, which is going to be 10 minus 0. So we're going to do 10 minus 0. Our change in labor is going to be 1 minus 0. So 10 divided by 1 is 10. So that first unit of labor adds 10 units to production. Now we want to figure out what does the second unit of labor add to production. So we're going to take the change in Q, which is 30 minus 10, taking this one minus this one. We're going to divide by the change in labor, which is going to be 2 minus 1. So 30 minus 10 divided by 2 minus 1 is 20. So this second unit of labor adds 20 units to production. Okay, so let's see what happens with the third unit of labor. So we're going to take the change in total product, the change in quantity, 36 minus 30, taking this one minus this one. We're going to divide by the change in labor, which is 3 minus 2. So we have 6 divided by 1, which is 6. So this third unit of labor added 6 units to my production. So average product is just quantity divided by labor, but marginal product, we have to do the change in quantity divided by the change in labor.